welcome back to the video so today we're going to talk about functions okay today we're going to talk about functions so what are functions in python a function is a block of code that performs a specific action okay it's a block of code that performs a specific action now what do i mean by this let's say we want to greet people inside python okay usually we would write something like this something like print uh, hey everyone okay and when we run our program over here this is the output that we are going to get we are going to get an output that reflects what we wrote here in the print statement okay okay now let's say the the second time maybe we want to greet people we will write something like this again print hey everyone okay let's say we want people to greet to greet people for the third time okay we will have to write something like that okay okay like three times so we want to greet people three times we would have to write this line of code over here three times now when we run our program as you can see we get three outputs hey everyone hey everyone hey everyone okay now let's say we want to greet people seven times ten times doesn't matter how many times you want to greet people this is uh let's say we are too lazy to do that and we don't want to keep writing this line of code over and over again every time that we want to greet everyone okay so what this is where we would want to use a function that will be specific for only greeting people and we can use this function at any time without having to write this over and over and over again okay so this is what we will do so right now we are going to create our first function in python okay so here is how you can create a function all you have to do step one is to define the function okay step one is to define the function of which we are going to use this keyword over here called def which is short for define so as i said step one is to define the function so here we write def and step two is to write the name of the function so we want a function that we will use to greet people okay so step two is to write the, the name of the function so we will call our function greet okay great now step three would after writing the name of your function always put uh, a parenthesis okay which are these brackets over here okay so after after doing so all you have to do is just to put a colon over here a colon over here then yeah you're done you're done defining your function so as i said we use the keyword def we write the name of our function over here and after doing so we put the brackets over here then the colon then we're done we're done defining our function so all we have to do right now is to start writing the body of the function so a function has a body of of where inside the body is where we write the line of code that performs a specific action so in this function we want to greet people okay so inside the body of the function we would write print hey everyone okay so yeah we're done creating our function so this is our simple function for greeting people okay now congrats there is a function now anytime you want to greet people all you have to do is to call your greet function okay anytime you want to greet people all you have to do is to call this function over here okay so all you have to do is to call your greet function by only typing in the name 
of this function over here okay so in order to call this function over here all you have to do is to type the name of this function over here and what is the name of this function the name of this function is greet okay the name of this function is greet so all you have to do is to write greet parentheses then yeah you're done so you have created your first function over here it's a very simple function for greeting people and step two is to call is to call the function okay and how do we call the function by simply typing in the name of the function so when we run our program over here we get two outputs hey everyone hey everyone so this output over here is the result of this line of code over here and this output over here is the result of this line of code over here okay so let's say we remove this first print statement because now we want to use our functions okay so when we run the program again we will get hey everyone because we have called the function only one time okay so let's say we call the function two times greet again when we run the program we will get two outputs okay hey everyone hey everyone let's say we want to call this function over here i mean the third time when we run the program we get hey everyone hey everyone hey everyone okay so creating a function is as easy as that okay so let's let's create so this is simple when we call the function uh python the all, all all python does is to check if this function exists and it checks here yeah so yeah this grid function exists okay and when it finds this grid function it checks its body and execute the block of code inside the function over here so inside our function we have written print hey everyone so every time we call this grid function it will print it will display the output of what we have written inside the body of this function okay great easy now let's create a function that will let's create a function that will calculate the let's say what oh okay now let's yeah so we have covered how to create a function how to call a function now let's create a function that would calculate the sum of two numbers okay let's create a function that will calculate the sum of two numbers so we would as usual we would define our function then we would write the name of our function right now we want to perform addition so all you have to do is write def Put in the name of your function then put in a colon over here then click enter then right now we are inside the body of this function and we want to calculate the sum of between two numbers we want to perform addition between two numbers so what we would do is print we'll do something like this print and then inside of over here we would write something like 10 plus four okay so yeah we're done creating a addition function so as usual if you want to display the if you want to display the output of our function all you have to do is to call the function and how can we call the function by simply typing in the name of the function so here we would simply write add okay simply write add so when you run the program you get what the output you get is 14 because when you call the function add python checks if this function add exists and it found that it found that the function add exists okay and what's inside the function add inside the function add we stated that we want to print the the output of 10 plus 4 okay so yeah it's simple as that we create a function we inside the function body we write the lines of code 
the specific action that we want this particular act this particular function to perform okay yeah great so we can also create a function where we want to to perform division okay so we would say def the name of our function which we will call divide then put a colon then inside our function we'd say okay 10 divide by 4 okay great now when we call our function we call our function by simply typing in the name of the function so we'll say divide brackets and when we run our program you, we get 2.5 okay which is simply which is simply the output of 10 divided by 4 so also when we we want to call the add function all we have to do is to type in the name of the of the function so when we run the program here we get the output of the divide function and here we get the output of the add function okay but okay so one thing that you may have noticed is what if now we want to perform addition or division on other numbers okay so right now what we would have to do is to manually change over and over again the numbers inside the bodies of our function so this addition function all it basically does it specifically adds 10 and 4 it doesn't add 6 and 6 it doesn't add 12 and 12 and so on and so on similar to the division the divide function over here this divide function specifically divides 10 by 4 okay now let's say we want to to perform division or addition on other numbers apart from 10 and 4 so what we could do is inside our function so one thing i'd like to say is that the function can take in can take in parameters of which they the parameters can be used inside the body of a function to perform a specific task so it's better that i show you what i'm talking about so let's say in the addition function okay the addition function when we define a function we say that this function takes two parameters okay so parameter num parameter one would be number one and parameter two would be number two okay so yeah great so here we would replace 10 maybe with number one and four with number two okay so similar to the divide function over here we would say number we would the function now would take in two parameters number one and then after writing the first parameter you write a comma then you input then you write your second parameter which is number two and over here we replace 10 with number one and we replace four with number two okay great now when we call these functions over here all we have to do now is to pass in now this yeah let me delete this line of code now when we want when we want to call this function right now all we have to do is to write the name of this function and then inside the brackets over here we will follow this format where we will write our first number over here then we would write comma then we would write our second number over here so it's better that i show you what i'm talking about so let's say now we want to call the function add okay as you can see over here it says that add takes in two parameters number one and number two okay so add brackets and now we would input our first number let's say our first number is 11 which represents this number over here then we write comma 
then we would put a second number maybe which is five okay of which five represents this number over here okay so when you run the code what we're basically saying over here is that it will take this 11 it will put it over here and then it will take this 5 it will put it over here okay so what you're basically saying here is 11 plus 5 so now when we run this program we get our output over here okay our output of this function over here because this function now takes parameters and here it highlights that this 11 is number one and this five is number two okay so when we run the code when we call our function and input the parameters inside it will take the first parameter it will add to the second parameter so similar to the divide function of where we saw divide uh we call divide now divide also takes two parameters okay which it takes number one and number two so all we have to do is to follow the format, this format over here, of inputting our numbers. So number we would write number one something like 10, and then comma, just like following this format over here, we'll write 10, comma, number two, of which number two, maybe we can say number two is two, okay? So it highlights the first number, which is 10, and the second number, which is two okay great now when we run the program we will get two outputs because we are calling two function two functions okay so the first function is the add function and the second function is the divide function okay so the output of the first function is 16 because we have two parameters 11 and 5 of which inside the body of this add function it says number one plus number two. So it, it we are basically saying 11 plus five, okay? And on the second function, on the divide function, we have our first number, which is 10, and our second number, which is two. So inside the body of this divide function, we say, we specifically say that we want to print number one divided by number two. So here we're taking 10 divided by two. And the output is five okay great so yeah so we have covered functions so right now we have a simple overview of functions and so now i would like to challenge you to create a function that performs subtraction and multiplication by using the same procedures the same process the same steps that we have used on creating these two functions over here okay so this is a simple overview of functions and so congrats on writing your first functions on calling your first functions and uh, as you can see we got the output of all of the functions that we wrote so we have covered functions and we will continue to use functions in future videos so yeah i would like for you to challenge yourself and create a function that performs subtraction and multiplication. So in saying all that, I would like to say thank you and I hope this video provided some value to you. So in the next video, we will talk about modules and then after that, we'll create our first computer vision project. Okay, great, so stay tuned and see you in the next video.